In July of 2009, two-time convicted killer, Daryl Billingsley, was preparing to stand trial for the stabbing death of his friend, Jessica LaWalling. It's important that the jury have a really clear picture of how violent the defendant could be so that they can um, assess the right punishment, which we felt like was life in prison. And it's kind of like putting a puzzle together. You know, you've got all these li different little pieces and then when you put them together, the whole picture is clear. There was a female witness up on the stand testifying that the Billingsley had threatened her and he charged the witness stand. And first a female bailiff intervened and she was thrown to the ground. Um, I was waiting my turn to uh, testify on the stand when I heard a commotion across the hall. I could hear uh, people screaming and hollering and a commotion going on next door. And I looked in and I could see a black male standing over a female bailiff and he was kicking her. And as I approached him, he did like a roundhouse kick or something and caught me square in the shoulder. I stumbled back about 12, 14, 15 feet. And he had gone back to kicking the bailiff and trying to take her gun away from her. I was shocked, I was stunned. His focus was taken away from me now because he thought he had taken care of me. So at that point, I slipped up behind him and I put my arm around his throat and just started choking him, trying to choke him down. But he wasn't going down very quick. He was, he was a big guy. I reached back and I grabbed one cuff and I put it on his right wrist. And at that point, he got a second wind and so he came alive again and started swinging at me with the cuff. And so I got a hold of him again and started choking him down again another DPD officer came running in and we got him bent over the rail and got the cuffs on him. My shoulder really began to throb and hurt and I found out later that my shoulder had been shattered. This is a violent man. You know, he should go away for a long time. I've just never felt so strongly about making sure that someone didn't get out of prison. You know you're dealing with someone that has no respect for human life, and, and that's really scary.